Look at the teams then, Ireland and three changes from the side beaten by France last weekend, including one in the pack where Brittany Hogan replaces Claire Malloy at open side to join Dorothy Wall and captain Kira Griffin in the back row. In the back, Stacey Flood makes her first start at 10, replacing Hannah Tyrrell and seven flyer Amy Lee Murphy Crow also makes her first start in the wing, coming in for Lauren Delaney. So that's the Ireland team then. No fewer than five changes for the Italians after that win against Scotland with some very experienced faces missing out, including Franco and Tunesi. Valeria Fredrighi and Ilaria Arighetti will lead the way up front while Sarah Barrettin pulls the strings at scrum half, one of the most experienced on the pitch. Manuela Furlan continues on the wing as opposed to her usual position at full-back with Vittoria Ostuni minuzzi wearing 15. Quick look at the bench, and uh, as the panel were discussing there, no place for Claire Malloy, which is uh, a little bit unusual, you'd have to say. Jones, Feely, Lyons coming back into the squad as well at tight head. The Lyons haven't seen her in the championship thus far. Okay. Against a huge number of these Italian girls, they've been going improving every year under the same coach, uh, Andrea G G Um And you know, he, I think Stand he's doing a super job with them, back. particularly when they've so little structures. Like they've only had three training camps together before the Six Nations. Just the forwards and bringing them into the game, and then marshalling that back line as well. Friday with the first line out, clean possession for Ireland, and the crash ball from Dorothy Wall. Won't be the last time you'll see her do that. Early touch for Considine. Trying to dig it out, Lindsay Pete just dropping the shoulder, running into her opposite number. Good tackle by Erika Skovka, and Ireland floor. can see the penalty. Along the floor. Crawling along the floor, says Sarah Cox, against Lindsay Pete. It's how they approach the tackle, it's their footwork into it. Obviously, they have to use their speed to get there, but then they shorten their step as they go into the tackle. Hold! Well, he claims it. Dorothy Wall trying to bash her way yeah, towards it. that five-meter line. Does a pretty good job of it as well. Ireland one quick ball now, there for Dane. Right, they chopped down. Everyone really on the right so hand side. It's another side penalty. No advantage. We come back. Italian discipline at the moment. Early. Quick tap and go from Stacey Flood. She's going to try and go on her own now. Out to Wall. It's going to drop her shoulder and crash over the line for the first try. Dorothy Wall puts Ireland five points up. He just sees it's, she sees Dorothy out there. She draws flat to the line, and then it's just Dorothy Wall's power. No she's up against, from there. Up against Baratine. She's yeah. she's a little warrier, but just the size and power of Dorothy Wall. Yeah, that's what. Quick yeah, tap and go made that's it as well from Flood, just well. recognising that Italy were a little bit short. Again, Italy's penalty yeah. count was high throughout the tournament. I think Ireland were up at 33. Parsons. Just needed to hang on to that ball. Did well. There for Dane. Hogan. Sorry. Flood back in the pocket under a little bit of pressure. Stay there, stay there. Just uh, impeded yep. slightly by Sarah Cox, but it's there for Astoni Minuzzi. Hooper trying to drive herself through. Baratin. The half dummy was by Michele Serrari. But scrum cap prefers, he'd recognise that. It's gone forward. Just in the circle. Set. Steady. Solid scrum by the Italians, Elisa Giordano. Tackle by Flood again, just getting low. Kira Griffin is slow to get back on her feet. I think she's picked up a knock there. Italians trying to play on here. Ostuni Manuzzi. Advantage. Yeah, Advantage. Yeah, yeah, yeah. To the Azzurri. Advantage for the high tackle. Federighi just placing the ball on the ground. Onto it comes Arighetti. I'm trying to counter Rook here. Baratine under pressure. Look, no advantage, no advantage came, coming. Kira Griffin a little bit slow to get back on her feet just earlier. So there she is there. Let's be fair to Linda in first. <laughs> so decent taking the line out there by Giordana Duca. Beautiful line and straight through goes in Alaria Arigetti. Arigetti on her own needs a bit of support. Baratine, left they go. Better from the Italians now. Madia, just as I say, the ball pops loose and I think Ireland have managed to steal it. Numbers here, if they can push this one out wide early on. Connor can't quite get the hands free. Gone down, Ireland get the penalty. Quick tap from O'Connor to Flood. Dummy switch with Naupu, crossfield kick meant for Amy Lee Murphy Crow. She's going to need the bounce here. Oh, just deceived. And the Italians it's back. It's trying to get a possession. Yesterday. Beatrice with a goal. Okay, hands out. Green, leave it alone. Green, leave it alone. No, don't touch! 
touch. No touch. I haven't told Still either. in the ruck. Sane Opu flies in. The Italians are paying for a high tackle there. Box take Hold equals down. whatever. I know, well. and okay. I I understand Look. that, and I know we spoke about Amy Lee's maybe looking a bit soft head. last week, but there has, has to be some process okay, in place in order to encourage players to, to lower their tackle even system. more. Because we've seen some of the Irish ones that they're going in too uh, high, so down. players have to be almost encouraged to go low by that risk okay. of getting a card. Another good hit this time from Brittany Hogan, Baratin. Little break for the scrum half. Lovely break for the scrum half. Baratine needs support. Mounts it up nicely. Just as I say that, Beatrice Rigoni couldn't hold on to it. Set. Dane. Flood. Counts it out. Little grubber kick through. Meant for Parsons to chase. Keep going, keep going. Going to come back from the Irish side and should be there for Stacey Flood. She's got two outside her. Maloney just had to juggle that one for a half a second. And well, for land, it's the only player back home for the Italians then. Friday. Good carry by Linda and Jungang. It's trying to hit the Tackle! ground. Does eventually get there. Flood calling for it. Murphy Crow off her wing. Big tackle in the midfield to stop the Irish winger. Dane, little kick over the top, but that was pretty poorly executed and an easy one for Ilaria Adegetti to deal with. And did he get the penalty? No, you're not. There you go. No, I don't know who Dane was kicking no, over the no. top to there because Amy Lee Murphy Crow was already in a ruck, so you don't have your speed out wide. There was space there, but there was no one. They need on to power with it chase it, and then it was a poor execution. Then. Yeah, sure, you never got up before 11 anyway, so you be useless at this time. I'm an early riser, I let you know. <laughs> nice hands, we go to Salati. To the experienced midfield partnership, and then they give away the penalty, though. Oh, there. Not releasing on the ground. Yeah, well in by Stacey Flood. Again, that's another thing she showed when she came off the bench the last two days was her turnovers. Drilled it with that left foot. Beautiful strike. Three points on the board. Set. You don't see Ireland put the two wingers in more one on one situations against their opposite numbers and see how they get on. Baratine. Rigoni. Good carry. Oh, just as they say, she lost it forward. Hogan was first to pick it up. Set. Good strike by Maloney. Equally good feed as well by Dane. Flores has it. Again, two on two outside, but after to kick the ball through. It's a decent kick, though. Awkward enough one for Astoni Manuzzi to deal with, and that's well played by Stacey Flood. It's an Amy Lee. You can see Amy Lee standing off the back of the line out as well. Got her in possession first, and they do a good hold, job of that. Hold. There's Walt. Murphy Crow, little half gap for her. She flies through it. It's Murphy Crow, that's the speed from the sevens. That's why she's one of the top seven players in the world. And now with the 15, she has her first international try. Well executed line out to the back to Brittany Hogan. They come down, they set up the mall, they suck in some of the Italian defence. You can see that huge gap there for Amy Lee to work through. Steps off her right and then just glides in. She's lightning quick. 98 tries in the World Series and now here her first 15s try. She remember this one, beating two defenders as well. Acceleration. You just can't give her that kind of room. Strike from Stacey Flood, beautiful technique, 15 points to nil. Ireland stretch their lead. She's actually gone further out this time, behind Stacey Flood. Ireland go to the front. Hold! It's at the back with Maloney. In five! Trying to drive their way towards that Italian line. Dane has seen enough. Now boot. trying to get the hands free. Almost got through herself there. Another penalty. Maloney with a quick tap and go. Clean and Maloney bursting her way over the line. Try number three for Ireland. Brilliant stuff by Clean and Maloney. Here we see the hit by Senna Nupu. Probably Eve Higgins fell there. Probably need to resource that rook slightly quicker if we were to get turnover, but they weren't re the tackler didn't release. And brilliant vision by Clean and Maloney to finish.
Quick tap. Italians not awake to it. And Maloney took full advantage. Straight over. Set! Another strong show by the Italians. And another scrum penalty. Yeah, they have to go for the scrum again here. Four, Just see Ireland four, completely in at an angle there. Great power by Italy. Time is off. Time is off for making subs. Grace Moore comes in. And so to Emily Lane. So double substitution for Ireland. You know, to protect yourself in the ball. So no issue with that. Short line out. Hold, hold, hold! Italy try and set them all. There with Batoni. Tackle! Only a short. She tried to roll there, but she was just to recycle the ball. Maloney's coming through, she's offside. Ireland give away a penalty, so advantage to the visitors. Looking for their first score. At the line and down. It's taken 68 and a half minutes, but Italy finally have a try on the board. Here we see the line out, set it up well, set the ball up, get numbers in. Batoni failed to go on off. She almost makes it to the line. Kleena Maloney gives away another penalty coming through, and then it's just... Pick and go, pick and go, and then Batoni goes back over again. <laughs> a feed from Stefan, one last roll of the dice for Italy. Carried by Muzzo. Stefan again, pass back inside, back just gone on the ground. O'Connor picts it up. Ireland get one last chance then. And they take advantage of it. So it goes Lions. Murphy Crow is going to back her pace here. Emily Murphy Crow, they're not going to catch her. And Ireland will finish the championship with a try. Two in the day for Emily Murphy Crow. And that is the game. I don't know why you did that to me. It actually came from Italy's error. They were in the attack. They tried that offload again. Ireland looked to move it out wide. Poor pass. But Emily Murphy Crow has the power and the pace to finish it. But I suppose that was just. She confused me. She gave me a. <laughs> Epitomises Italy's day, really. No joy with that. Right and wide, so there is the full-time whistle. Final score then, Ireland take third place in the Championship. They've beaten Italy here by 25 points to five.